OnlyFans page. First of all, what the fuck is OnlyFans? Because I heard it, several things. First, I heard it was news. Then I heard it was full on just uh, a, a porn site. So what what is it? What is OnlyFans? I don't know for sure, but I think it is that you know they make videos and then the, your OnlyFans pay for access to those videos. But it's not like public, like you have to pay for access. It's like a Patreon. It's like a Patreon for hoes. For hoes? So first of all, you're going to ask me would I date a hoe, basically. That's what you asked me. No, I would not. <laughs> I mean, like if I know and you know that I'm dating a hoe, no, I don't want that in my life. <laughs> Let me stop. That was dope. That was dope. But it's like a Patreon for women who want to uh, sell videos of them doing sexual things, probably like twerking or whatever they're doing. And I know this before we start dating. Yeah, and what if she even seen the link? Like, ooh, join my OnlyFans. It's like, t- it's fifty dollars a video. I'm good. I'm good. I'm not. I'm not judging. You know that. You know how I am about my sex workers. I'm not. Um, that's just not the kind of energy I would want in a life partner. That's all. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because I'm not really dating just to date right now. If I was dating just to date and we was just fucking, um, I probably wouldn't care. We probably wouldn't even get that far. But I'm past that part of my life. So. What? You past that part? You're looking for a wife? They're pretty bad. Fuck you, girl. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, <Ooh>, bro. <laughs> Nah, I'm just saying, like, if, oh my god, this is so complicated. You're looking this for is, white. This is what I would like. I would like to meet someone with like ambitions, with like goals, like-minded. At least, you know, not the same person I am, because you know, obviously it's a trait. But the part that's going to sustain us for the rest of our lives, you know what I'm saying? Um your work goals, your ambition, your life, what do you see your life like, that type of situation. I would like for us to match that. And, you know, if if children are in the cards, I would like for us to start a family. If not, then, yeah, I mean, if marriage is something that we both agree on and that's something that we can, you know, mutually say that is important to us, then, yeah. But for right now, I'm just saying life partner. Just to have a life partner doesn't mean that we have to necessarily be married. You feel what I'm saying? Because people change their mind every day. So you're looking for a wife. (laughs) Sure, sure. Let's go. Yeah, let's say that. (laughs) I got her to admit it on camera that she is looking for a wife. So, if you have those criteria, shut your ass up. What? If you have those criteria, oh no, we're not doing it online. Page, trust, trust and believe. It ain't gonna happen online. I don't think. You gotta come through here. We need to match energy. I need to feel what you feel like. <laughs> I mean, you can be, you can meet up online, but then meet up at the grocery store. You know, set your first meet up at the grocery store what i'm saying is i've been there and done that and there's only one person one fucking person of all the people i've ever met online in my entire life that i actually liked you know what i'm saying so i'm just going with history i'm going with the numbers the numbers don't lie the numbers say no you need to meet someone that you know in person (laughs) and let it go from there I and that, well, ATO is definitely the place to be for, for that energy. No. What? ATO, ATO is the place to be if you're like 30 and under. But for 30 and up, I don't know. I think we losing out here, bro. Just 
Just get you a 28 year old. No, that's not. <laughs> that's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying like they're not. Whatever, bro. Whatever. Well, you trying to have a baby. I mean, if she's 40, that's cute. But you're going to have to go a little, little younger. No, 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 no. I'm not saying that I would not date someone that's under 30. That's not the point. The point is a lot of those life goals and the ambitions and the way that I'm telling you I was looking at when you're under 30, you're not even thinking about that shit. You know what I'm saying? For the most part. Yeah, just, that's true. This is not a part of your life. You can't see yourself not going to the club every weekend. Like, you know what I'm saying? You just can't oh, see that. Oh, so you're saying when I come up there or come down there, we're going to fuck in. We're going to leave our asses in the club. We might just take a shit in the middle of the club. I'm not saying that. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying we. I don't live like that 365. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't go out every month. I might not even go out for a couple of months. You know what I'm saying? But when you come down here, that's a whole other story. Got you. Yeah, yeah. We definitely gonna show our asses. <sighs> yeah, it's it's about that time. I'm I'm getting married in like five years. Here we go. All right. I need time to rebuild. But I wouldn't date a woman with an OnlyFans page because. You know, the same reason why I decided not to play college basketball. For real. You should have what to offer, you know? Like, and and you choose what you want to do for a living. I did not want to play in the WNBA for a living, you know? And I wouldn't want, you know, my significant other having an OnlyFans page, even if it's just a side business or a side hustle, I just wouldn't feel comfortable with that. You know, it's, it's, it's a ton of other businesses that you can do. You know, why? Um, I mean, you feel the need, you have to do, you got to do what you got to do, try to beat your five kids, do what you got to do. But for me, I, I couldn't. Because you know, you know, you know, the, Bro, she at, least, at least the community in your in your hometown is small. You know it's gonna you're gonna go somewhere, an event, and like half the studs is gonna be only fans members to your to your girl. So your your concern is the fact that you don't want to fucking be embarrassed out here in these streets, basically. Yeah, that's that's definitely the main concern. Yeah, one of the main concerns. I feel you because we Leos are not really good at public uh, humiliation and we don't do public <sighs> arguments, tips, none of that shit. You know what I'm saying? So I feel you on that shit. But, I mean, that wouldn't be my main reason. My main reason would just be <sighs> it's just like everybody has access to your shit. You know what I'm saying? That's the same reason I don't really like raunchy females. You get what I'm trying to say? Mm-hmm. Like, there's a there's a line between like I don't want to be that person that's like, hey, policing your body as your girlfriend, or policing your activities as your girlfriend, or as your potential wife or potential life mate. But at the same time, if you start doing stuff that I feel like is for lack of a better word, unladylike or whorish, for lack of a better word, something that doesn't represent what I want to be. Rep- I'm like, I'm, we're not like five percenters out here. You know what I'm saying? We're not whole tip out here. You know, <laughs> <laughs> but have some respect and have some class and have some decency. You know, like the internet is forever. Just remember that. That's all. That's all. I'm saying. Just the same yeah. way. If a guy had a girl's news and she released them, and, you know, she could prosecute him. It's the same thing, you know, just because a few people have your news don't mean everybody should have your news. You know what I'm trying to say? Everybody that got $50, that's do you, do you, no judgment. You just can't do you with me. That's all. That's it. Yeah, I definitely agree with that, you know, 
And then you have, you know, ladies who they they coworkers are their membership, you know, members to their OnlyFans page. It's like <laughs> How long has it been out? Cause I just I just heard about this when Beyonce said it in that rap. That's when everybody came out the woodworks about it. How long has OnlyFans page been out? Oh, I looked it up real quick. What did she say in the rap? I don't know. Something about my OnlyFans. Yeah, I the OnlyFans. Only, only listen to the song like once, huh? Beyonce yeah, has the OnlyFans page. Girl, I don't know. You want me to look up the lyrics? Let me look up the lyrics. Now you look up how long he's been out. Can you see me still? Yeah. Oh, okay. It says 2016. It's a British company. And they 20- have... Huh? 2016? 2016, and um, they have 12 million registered users worldwide. <laughs> well, okay. and they said favorite content creators uh, typically charge around five to fifteen dollars a month, with more for extras. My thing is. If you're charging this much for a month, like, you don't never run out of content? Like, what else could you do with your booty? Okay, so this is what Beyonce said. Beyonce said, hips TikTok when I dance, and then dance on a demon time. She might start at OnlyFans. OnlyFans, Big B, and the B stand for bands. Yo, you can't knock these people hustle, man. You cannot knock these people hustle. You cannot want to date these people, but you cannot knock these people hustle, bro. I mean, I mean, yeah, they're going to do what they do, you know, but they also have to think about it for those who, you know, are single and looking and have an OnlyFans page. Like, how are you going to tell your significant other that, oh, yeah, you know, it's a lot of people that are fine. That, that will be fine with it. As long as they like, they feel like. <clears throat> I think we talked about something else when it was kind of like, um, as long as they're not touching or something like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, a lot of people would be like, you know, that's fine. As long as you have fucking nobody else, we straight. You getting cake? We eating every week. You making? You know, what I'm saying you spending money on me. Like I don't care. Like for real, it's a lot of people who do not care. We the only motherfuckers that probably care. Not <laughs> remember the Players Club. You had that one dude that kept spending a lot of money, and then she he followed her home, and yeah. you got crazy people like that. You know that you're, you know, letting into your life because of your lifestyle. <sighs> I mean, everything has its risk. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in. Um, and if you have anything else that you want to share your experience, please leave a comment below. Also, like, share, and subscribe if you're on YouTube, and follow us if you are on Instagram.